Seriously, Sonic Be! Lido, how you get that? Lido! Look at that! Like in like few minutes time you got it! Yeah, very really hard! Lido, who got this? Who gave me profit? everyone and welcome back to my channel. First time kong magkaroon ng IG story na ang daming viewers. Pagdating, pag sinabi kong marami, kasi syempre iba yun sa iba mga vlogger na sikat, ba? Para sa akin yung marami, naka 380, almost 400 yung views ko dun sa IG story ko ng snorkeling picnic trip namin sa Three Palm Island. Kaya, at maraming nag-feedback na gusto nila ng vlog doon. Kaya, eto na nga, mga kaibigan, ang aking vlog about our picnic, snorkeling trip, swimming trip, whatever you want to call it, sa Three Palm Island. Just to let you guys know, kaya tinawag namin yung Three Palm Island. Sobrang private doon. Meron na kayong Three Palm. As in, tatlong coconut trip. O palm tree. Tatlo lang siya nakatalito doon. Tapos, maraming mga bakawan, maraming tapos, may small ni pahat na pwede mo lang lagay doon yung gamit mo. We arrived na dito kami magsistay at magsisnorkeling around. This is a small island. Oh, this is shady part here. It's good to tell. Yulia, this is yours. <laughs> Your own. That's true. Yeah. In kayo sa Villa Island. Etong island na to. Ikasama rin ng parang villa niya. Small island niya to. Kasama to sa amenities ng ninyo. It's a small one. Small island lang. Like this. Ayun yung dalawang friends namin, si Yoko at si Hasipa, Esther. Ayun sila, susunod sila dito. Sinundo sila ng isa namin colleague, si Niyal. From there kasi, ganito lang yung distance niya kalayo. Teka lang, hindi ko alam kung parang may straight eh. Pero, ayan, ganyan siya. Dadating siya na yan. Sinakay sila, Yoko. Yoko is getting a hard time getting in the boat. Yun! Ang sakto mo. 
from there, dadalhin sila dito. Hi! It will take, take like maybe one minute bago sila makapunta rito. Pwede naman sila dito mag ano. Kaya lang masyong masyadong mabato dito. So, dun sila. So, ito ang ating adventure guys for today. Hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. This is a private island. Parang naging private island na siya kasi small island lang naman siya. Kasi parang tumubong island lang to sa gitna na maliit na tinayuan nila ng parang mga mangrove yung tawag dito eh. Bakawan sa Tagalog. Tapos may mga palm trees. May, dal uh, may tatlong palm trees lang siya. Tapos may dalawa lang siyang small leaf pa hat. Enough for you to rest and to barbecue and to have picnic. Lubungin na natin si Yoko tsaka si Esther. Sila. Are you okay? Hello Yoko and Esther, welcome to my island. <laughs> This is our private island. Come, wow. come on board, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is like Robinson Crusoe. Barbecue, start to cook. Oh, strong, strong current. Yeah, if you can. Oh, I thought it's mine. Private island. Yeah. Noodles time. Noodles time. Noodles time. Seriously, Sodic Bear! Bidu, how you get that? Look at that! Like in like few minutes time you got it! Yeah, very fast! <laughs> <laughs> Tell the boys that this is enough for even two days. Oh my goodness. They won't, I think they won't take it even for fishing. Okay. Yeah. 
moving, got me hesitating. I'm looking at you, girl. Yeah, you're so amazing. Kind of complicated. Got me educated. When I watch you, I feel the rhythm in my heart. Yeah, when I see you, girl, I do it from the start. <laughs> Got it, got it, get it, got it, get it. It's just so hot. Yeah, it's very hot. Yeah. It's like, it's good. I want to try it. Mukbang. This is my mukbang video. Oh. I didn't move this far. Okay. I don't know. close your eyes and look back did you see yourself here did you imagine you have this job this friends this workplace 
I've always loved order, preparation, making sense of the world around me. But if there's one thing I've learned time and time again is that God's plan won't always align with my plan. What the world wants for me might not always be the same as what I want for me. And sometimes the best laid plans fall terribly short. When I look back on my life, I never thought I would have imagined being in this place, having these dreams, meeting these people. A few years ago, I never thought I'd move across the country, have friends in different corners of the world. I think the world puts so much focus on preparation. In school, we're fed that lies that if we don't do exceedingly well, we won't make waves. But sometimes, the best moment in life are the one you can't anticipate. You just learn how to both hold on and let go, and allow yourself to experience them, feel them, celebrate them, bloom from them, and continue forward, welcoming what comes. So me and my colleague are facing difficult situation. It's unexpected. It's all of a sudden. But it doesn't mean that we have to dwell on that situation. We have to celebrate life because we're still alive. And that's the beauty of life. We can move forward and we can really treasure this moment because this situation will make us more stronger. And we have to take this opportunity to really realize what important and what we really want in life. You can jump. So it was a fun experience and in this video, I, re I realized that you can see, see the situation in different perspective and you can always find something to be grateful for. Sometimes there's a bigger plan that we don't understand for now. We just need to trust the purpose. So that's the story, it's the story that I want to impart to you on this video. Alam ko may mga pinagdadaanan kami dito sa island na to. Hindi lang ako, mga co-workmate ko, colleague. Lahat kami may pinagdadaanan. So, we just this opportunity to have fun and to look at it in different perspective. And just to be grateful, just to be positive. And let's hope and just hope for the best. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up. And would you mind share this with your friends and family. And I hope to see you again on my next one. Bye everyone. God bless.